Lady Monica Bacardi and Mark Kenton. <laughs> Mr. Honorary Chairman, uh, I've been doing the job. He is very good in talking, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Mark uh, D. Ella, congratulations on, on an incredible 12 years of your life, <laughs> and particularly this year. And can I uh, borrow your coat, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually missed the opening because I was working in New York, and um, I, um, it was not easy to get in and out of New York this, this week, as everyone knows, because it's really bad weather and really cold. So we couldn't wait to get home um, to LA last night, particularly for the finale, and particularly because, as I say every year here, and the enchanted Istia and Capri, where I've been blessed to be, that Pascal is um, truly uh, a force of nature. Someone who everyone keeps recognizing in a way that is um, really um, um, now at a point in his career that's astounding. So he brings everyone together. He has an incredible sense of um, and passion for the arts of all kinds. And um, he is a, 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 um, a rare person because to, to network in a way and bring everyone together year after year all over uh, Italy and America. But people come from so many places. It's really uh, become an honor to be involved. So we're really happy we made it in last night. We're really happy to be home. We're really happy that it's LA Italia. We're really happy it's Oscar weekend. All of us are very privileged and blessed to work um, in, the, uh, in an incredible industry. And I just wanted to share with all of you how uh, proud and happy I am um, to um, feel that um, part of the greater Italy uh, of the world. And my daughter, Dorothy, who really grew up in, a, in an interesting way, my kids, with Pascal and his family, and so many of you, like uh, Franco, she now uh, is uh, uh, working with me and producing movies with me. And it's something I'm particularly proud of because only Jews and Italians <laughs> know um, uh, for sure that rare um, commonality of family and really carrying on the tradition as so many Italian filmmakers have done and we do as well. So I'm honored to be here again. I'm really happy uh, to be home to see so many of you. And um, this is the end of LA Italia, the start of an amazing weekend in Hollywood. So thank you for having me. Thank you so much. I think you already said everything what is in my heart. I don't want to repeat it. And I want to thank Pascal for everything what he does. He speak passion and he gives us a lot of joy and uh, he brings us all together. Thank you, Pascal, and I give you a kiss. I am and Italian. Thank you, everybody, who is here. Anyhow, and thank you for everything you do for, for the Tales of Battle Italy and to bring us together. Thank you. Thank you, Monica. So, uh, I asked you to join me here because we need to honor two amazing um, musicians who are um, going to be on the Oscar night uh, hoping to get the award. <coughs> it's uh, going to be very, very tough, uh, but uh, I'm sure that they're going to be uh, on the first row trying to get the Academy Award. Uh, they have been uh, um, making this song uh, for a movie of a great friend of us, Harry Weinstein. The movie is called Begin Again, uh, uh, and the, the song is called Love Lost, and uh, I am, uh, uh, the song is performed uh, in the movie by Adam Levine, the leader of Maroon 5, but uh, the writers are these two gentlemen here that I'm very, very honored to have with us and to honor as the song of the year. We have here Greg Alexander and uh, um, Nick Lashley, the song of the beginning. Thank you, enjoy us.
Sorry. I'll tell you guys a silly little story. Um, you forget their word. Uh, sorry, me. Oh, amazing. One second. Oh, fantastic. Oh, my God. I'm going to do a little dance with it. Oh, wow. Oh, fantastic. Wow. Can you look at here, please? Everybody. Lady Monica. Oh, that's so sweet. Monica. Monica, you can Wow. I genuinely talk to you guys. It's very sweet. Wow. That's so cool. Thank you. That's the first time award I got since worst swimmer in, uh, in the Detroit, <laughs> Detroit River as a child. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, oh lovely. Now we got some echo in the lab. It sounds more like a rock song. Um, so what I was going to tell you guys was is um, my my stage name is Greg Alexander, but my real name is uh, Greg Ayuto, which is Italian, <laughs> and. Um, I changed it for the silliest reason, which will be a testament to how much things have gotten better for Italians in Hollywood. When I was 14, I saw Purple Rain, you know, the Prince movie, and uh, I just loved it. I was like, that's what I want to do for a living. And I sat my parents down, and I said, I I'm going to run away to California and play music. And they're like, are you crazy? We're, we're Irish and English and Italian, because my grandfather came um, from... Uh, I believe Sicily. We, some, some claim Rome, but I think we're Sicilian because my aunt used to say to me, we are not Sicilian, Gregory. And I was, I, I was like, you don't protest it too much. I'm proud to be Sicilian. Whatever we are, I'm, I'm proud of it. You know? Absolutely. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, and I love Naples and uh, so, so many of the amazing cities in Italy. I've been there about a dozen times and just love the people and the spirit of it. But anyway, continuing. I told my mother and my father that I wanted to play music, and they said, you can't do it, You're, we're Italian. And I said, well, they said, name one Italian that's made it in rock and roll, and Bon Jovi hadn't really made it big yet. This was 84, and Prince was on TV, and I looked at my dad, he's got the curly hair, and I said, Prince, he's Italian. <laughs> and uh, for a second, they kind of believed me, and then they looked at me, and they said, he is not Italian, right? And then I, I came to California in 86, and I had my silly demo tapes, and I called around to some record companies, and I was like, hi, I, I'm Greg, I just got here from uh, Detroit, and hoping, you know, Mr. S Big Star at Star Records, maybe you can sign me as an artist, and I can sing write songs. And the, the receptionist would go, well, what is your name? And I said, um, my name is Ayuto, Greg Ayuto. And they said, we do not work with Japanese artists at home on Strange but true. So out of necessity, I, I, I did, a, a, in a silly moment at 16, change my name to Greg Alexander, because I always liked the name Alexander, you know, Gregory, Gregorian, etc. So, uh, but I, I stand here before you tonight as Greg Ayudo, and we will play you a few songs, and I uh, hope they uh, sound okay with you guys. Uh, the first one is a song uh, from my uh, rock band I had a couple years ago called uh, New Radicals. Um, cheers. Uh, the bar died, but um, <laughs> so it's good. So I kind of just stand up for it. Yeah, it hasn't gotten me far. But anyway, so here is a song from the new radicals. It's called You Get What You Give. And then we'll do the song from the uh, beginning again that's up from last year. So a little bit of rock and roll first. I think it was the number four in the Italy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.